Hi, I'm Ben Canning, and this micro lecture is on vibrations versus waves. We're going to look at what's the difference between those two. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and do your follow-up questions on Google Forms. Okay, so a vibration is a repetitive or periodic motion back and forth, and the key here is it doesn't travel anywhere. So it helps if we think of an example, such as a ruler. So in this case, if you hold the ruler down on one end and then you pluck the other end, uh, what's going to happen is it will make a sound, it will vibrate of sorts, but the ruler doesn't go anywhere. Now, yes, the end is traveling up and down, but the ruler itself doesn't like end up across the room because of this, so it basically stays in the same spot that it started. This is what we mean by it does not travel, and this is an example of a vibration, so the ruler is vibrating. A wave, on the other hand, is a periodic motion or disturbance that travels. So here, if we have the pulse of somebody kind of uh, making a disturbance in a slinky coil here, we can see that that pulse physically travels down the slinky. So it starts here at one end, and then a half second later it's further, and a half second later it's even further, and a half second later it's even further. So the pulse or disturbance, um, or energy in this case, is physically traveling. It's going from one area to another, uh, meaning it would go from one side of the room to another. It doesn't end up in the same spot that it started. Now, one way to kind of imagine this idea that it's the disturbance traveling and not the um, medium or the slinky itself is to imagine a wave in a stadium. So I'll give you a second to watch this video and we can watch as the wave kind of travels around the stadium. So you could see in that video that as the wave traveled through the stadium, it was the disturbance. In other words, the idea that people would stand up that was moving around the stadium. Now, you couldn't like be part of this wave and then have it move you from, let's say, the corner over here all the way over to the um, midfield line or anything along those lines. So in this case, we've, we've got this idea that it's the disturbance moving, not the actual medium, or in this case, the people who are the medium that move. Yes, they vibrate up and down, but they basically stay in the same spot that they started in. To help differentiate between waves and vibrations, we've got another example. So here we've got this idea of, we all know that if you kind of strum on a guitar, it makes a sound. Well, the guitar strings themselves are vibrating, meaning they don't go anywhere. They don't travel across the room, they don't like move in that sense. They just kind of stay in one spot and just vibrate back and forth. However, they do create a sound wave, and that is in itself, as the name um, hints, a wave. So that sound travels from the guitar all the way across the room to your ears, and maybe even further. So again, this idea that we've got something that vibrates, so it moves back and forth, but stays in the same spot, versus something, the sound, that actually travels. Now, to help kind of differentiate between these, I've made this nice little graphic for you for where they're similar and where they're different. So vibrations and waves both have a similarity in that they're periodic motion or disturbances, meaning it's kind of a movement back and forth usually is what's happening. However, they're different in that a vibration does not travel or propagate. Propagate is just a fancy word for travel, whereas a wave does propagate. It does travel across the room or across the country or even across the universe in some cases. And lastly, vibrations can happen without creating a wave. So there are cases where things can vibrate and no wave is created. However, um, in most cases, uh, and probably in all cases, uh, a wave is created by a vibration. So in order for a wave to happen, some vibration needs to have occurred. Um, so think back to the sounds. The only reason the sound was created is because the guitar string was vibrating. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes. One to two sentence summary and do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.